but no, nah, do you would, would you stay, would you would you go back and talk to all the people that like I don't know you got into a wood and like have a I piece did. Mm, piece it up and I pieced it up with everybody. Mm. It was me. I was just like yo, I was in, I was tweeting. How like, did that happen? Like how how did you? I piece DM'd it up? them. It was like a DM. <laughs> I was like, hey yo man, before you block me, you just want to say something. I went on fake pages. I was like, hey man. <laughs> Let me talk to you real quick. Johnny, how the hell you I blocked you. I know. But anyway, I made this page. I gave it lady twenty dollars. She put a million files on it. She just see it on purpose. I want to tell you I'm sorry. <laughs> I just was literally, literally DMing everybody I had a problem with. Damn. Who was the last person that you DM'd to piece it up with? Lyra Galore. Damn. Was my last person. And it was so crazy because she's like, We've always been friends. You know, we was all around this time it was me, Miracle Wise, it was Malai Michelle, just Britney, all the Houston girls. It was like, remember when strippers was like the big we were like statues. Niggas had statues of us in the strip club. Like we were the it girls. Didn't have to take no clothes or just walk out in this money. So we all grew up and we're looking like, you know, she has a kid now, Miracle is on P Valley, like and 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 doing stuff and we look back and I'm like, you know, I owe you an apology. She was like, you're so gifted. She's like, I've always been your friend. It's just you were um, mad at me. And I didn't understand. I said, you know what's crazy? You were a tad bit younger than me. And you reminded me. And they would say we kind of look alike. And I, I felt jealous. And mm -hmm. as a woman, I am not afraid to say that. And I'm like, I, I was jealous of feeling like somebody could be me. And I didn't realize no one can be you but you. And she was like, wow, yeah, you did change. What kind of medicine they got you? I said, girl, I'm going to tell you later. Mm -hmm. It works. It works. Yeah, it, but we what? became really cool. And she was like, same thing with Cash Doll. It was just little minor things. It was like the littlest childish shit. And now I'm cool. When I see people, me and Alexa Sky, like it would be just little things, comments and stuff. And I'm like, man, squash this. Like, what's up? Now Alexa's asking me. She wants to do a women empowerment thing. And she's like, I want you on the thing, on the panel. I'm like, sure. And when you just are honest and you're in a headspace of like healing, it, it was easy. It was like 20 people I made over. I was like, hey, yeah. I didn't even know I didn't like that many people. Okay. I, out of those 20 <laughs> people, was anybody harder to like win No, back people over? were actually more hurt. Some mm. people I really hurt. And I was just like, I never noticed I hurt you. They're like, yo, you hurt me really bad. Who was the person that with that ticket? Like, you hurt the my hurt, feelings, the, the Deb. Worst? Deb and me actually had a bad fallout. Wait. And, but it wasn't a fallout. It Miss was Debbie? me. Yeah. Uh, me and, mm -hmm. Damn. And I, she said, you hurt me. Because you got to understand, when I was doing my crazy shit, like on doing crazy stuff, just one in my life and stuff, taking out my IVs, this lady was right there just watching, like, y'all put the IV back in. I go ahead and send over to Peachford, go and get her some help. And she was just always, she never told my secrets, and I hurt her bad. And then it's like we talked. And now we just like this. And I, I realize I'm like, it's my words. It's it's me not talking and conversing with people and really telling them how I feel. If I just tell people how I feel, none of this would happen like this. And that's what I was learning from healing with everybody. I was like, hey, this is kind of cool. All right, who's next on the list? <laughs> they get it. Who else? And it, it worked for me. But I couldn't do that if I wasn't in the space that I'm in. Mm. I would always try to blame other people. Then when I sit and I'm thinking about like why we fell out. And I'm like, damn, it was me. Damn. Damn, I was hoping one of the situations I was healing, like trying to fix, I was like, maybe it's them. And then when they broke it down, I'm like, damn, it was me again. God damn, <laughs> damn. And I fixed it and it was fine. So yeah, that's good. That, that was actually a great feeling to like talk to people. And it was women because majority was my family was with men. And I'm like, I just want to be so much closer to women. I want to have women in the industry that's friends of mine and really just be cool because I like people. Like, I like to have that. And I started having more friends that were women. I'm like, yeah, that's dope. Mm -hmm. It's a great feeling. It's a wonderful feeling because you don't want to just a whole man fan base. Like, that's y'all cool. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, nah, I appreciate it. Y'all not gonna dress up and play and make up with me and stuff in my gay best. <laughs> no, nah, I appreciate the uh, the transparency <laughs> and um you being able so willing to talk to me. No, nah, of course. I was like, damn, he bought 